Hello friends. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about patterns. Patterns can be any colors or designs that repeat. And today we're going to be working on this paper from your work folder, latest work folder of supplies and activities. All right. I'd like to share this book. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I wanted to look at the pictures with you, do a little picture walk of some of the patterns that are in this book. There are lots of different patterns in here. The first is stripey patterns, and stripey patterns are created by lines that repeat different colors. Lots of different stripey patterns on these two pages. Patterns with spots have repeated polka dots. Some patterns are made out of checks or little boxes. And some patterns are made of plaid or crossing stripes. There are also zigzag lines that make patterns and wiggles that can make patterns. Some patterns are made with swirls and some patterns are made with spirals. There are many different kinds of patterns in nature. You can see the ripples in sand or the, the rings in a tree that can tell you how old they are, or spirals in a snail. There are animals that have patterns on them. Many different kinds of patterns around in your world and in your house. I'd like you looking for patterns. See how many different patterns you can find and how many different patterns you can create. Here are children making all different kinds of patterns. There are patterns in the ripples in water where you can make patterns with paint or with sand or icing. So many different ways of making patterns. I'd like you to see what kinds of patterns you can find around. First, we're going to make patterns with this paper right here. This is a Christmas light pattern. The first row has a pattern coded for you. You see it has a number one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two. And everything with a number one should be colored red. And everything with a number two should be colored green. Because there's just two colors going back and forth and back and forth, we call this an A-B pattern. A, B, A, B, A, B. Let me show you one where I've colored in the first row of light bulbs. And you can see red, green, red, green, red, green. Or A, B, A, B, A, B. I wonder if you can predict, because it's a pattern, I wonder if you can predict what color is going to come next. Let's see if you can do it. You ready? Let's do it together. Say it with me. Red, green, red, green, red, green. What would come next? <gasps> Did you say red? Good job. That's right. It's a pattern. It repeats and it could keep going and going. Down below, there's a row of empty bulbs where you get to choose your own pattern. Why don't you choose two colors of crayons you'd like to use and see if you can color one color, the other color, the first color, the second color, the first color, the second color, and make your own pattern. Here's one that I already finished. And you can see from the pattern underneath, I've done yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange. That's my pattern. So I'd love to see what you're going to do with this paper. Want to see what you come up with for your bottom row pattern? 
and have fun looking for patterns all around you in your world. I bet you'll be amazed how many patterns you find. And patterns are the basic building blocks of everything in math and a lot of things in the world and in nature. Patterns are amazing. Have fun. Take care.